Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Tutorials PL Bar 1 Part 7. So, the previous video was explaining about the accept and display statements like COBOL. That is, uh, in PL Bar 1 it comes to like a get list and input list. So, these are the terminal input and output commands which we discussed and we have seen some examples and we have seen the important uh, points like skip uh, and assigning the underscore or replacing this and we have seen many things about the put list and get list in the previous video so this video is about assignment statements okay so that is as uh, as you know that uh, any programming language is uses this assignment statement same in the fa same like uh, in PL bar one we have like what exactly the assignment statement means the value of the expression on the right of the equal to okay is assigned move to the variable on the left of the equal to some uh, symbol okay so you are having some values so that is being assigned to the value on the left side that is to the variable so that means then assign mind so it can be used for some expression or it can be used for some calculation so you are using multiple variables x plus y plus z and you are calculating it at the, sa at the same time and you are storing it into a particular variable or else you are just using a counter that is count equal to count plus one you have some arithmetical expression or you can using it or else you can use uh, other variables two variables uh, that is equal to some count equal to some count so you can remove these or you can store any other variables okay either you can use a constant or, or you can use it in a three ways that is you can use some constant like something count initially you might be initializing with zero okay you can use it or else you can use something like count equal to some other variable something uh, a B C D is also a one the one other variables. Either you can use when you when you assign a constant, either it can be as uh, numeric, alphanumeric, or alphabet. So it can be anything. So in the same way, the variable names can be, or else I can give it as a variable. Okay, you can pass it through variables. Some variable is having some date already. The value is stored in this variable, or else you can use the expression like this. Okay. So that's how the importance of assignment and the PL bar one statement may contain blank as needed to improve the readability of the programs. Okay, statement may be continued across several lines. One line may contain several PL bar one statements. For example, in PL bar one, you have the flexibility of writing multiple statements in a single line, whereas you don't have that option in COBOL. COBOL, we're having certain coding sheets like where you have to where it where it has like column A, column B, or area A, area B. It uh, it is a 80 sheets, and you will be following certain rules like comment should start in seventh column, and uh, zero one level level should start in column A, or the procedure should start in so and so columns, and so. So we had some various conditions when working with the COBOL statement. So here there is nothing like that. So uh, the uh, the only thing is you have to separate the statements by a semicolon so you can write any continuously in any number of statements so each statement is separated by semicolon okay so that's all for this today's video I would be coming up with more videos if you like this video kindly please subscribe share or comment or like on my YouTube channel I would be coming up with more and more videos of, of different modules and different uh, of mainframe related tutorials okay Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and pleasurable day.